Godwinson. I'm reaching through the veil, Godwinson. I'm a this is I am a secret longtime fan of you, Godwinson. So I want you to take what I have to say very seriously. If you can at all do that. I watched a stream. He's done two now. He's planning to do three. And I hope that I can inform him before this next stream, assuming it's not happened yet. Um, Godwinson really hates Gator. I think he does in a, in a very serious, genuine way. He really hates Gator, and he wants Gator to die. And in this, in his seeking of, and I think the same of me, I think he really hates me. He wants me to die. He wants the Kiwi farms to be scattered into a thousand pieces and scattered to the wind. I don't know why he's never actually articulated this. Um, I don't hate him, which is kind of cringe. I guess I should hate him. Isn't that how that works now? Um, he is setting himself up for a catastrophe. He has announced that he is going to be a father. I'm assuming that that's true because it came from PPP first as blackmail. So that means that he has a long-term girlfriend, probably a wife, and he still does these videos. And you can do these videos and keep that, you know, private and more power to you. The UK has better privacy laws and shit than the US, so you can conceivably do that. Um... However, he is so desperate to get a win against the Kiwi Farms and people like Christorian X and the Gator Game Horror. He has teamed up with at least Perspicacity and a bunch of other faggots. He's in a literal Discord room where they send him shit to read on screen. He begs them for leaks. And he has resorted to these people and other slimy, truly disgusting people who do not deserve mention because they only they, like a lot of people want money from the Ralph shit. They just want attention. So I will try to cover them as in passing as much as possible. Um, he, he ba bashes Gator and says, Gator, you sweep it up for a literal pedophile, Pedminko, because Pedminko had Shada Khan or whatever the fuck. On his, on his favorites, on his e, e hentai or whatever the fuck. Um, but then he takes information. And he, of course, he also bashes Rambot and makes fun of Rambot for being... Because Holocaust denial is illegal in Australia. You can go to jail for it. He says, oh, I'm somewhat trepidatious about talking about the JQ. And then Ralph, of course, when he hears something that uh, could potentially get him into trouble. He says, I don't necessarily co-sign this. And these are two callbacks he does all the time. I don't necessarily call co-sign this. Oh, I'm somewhat trepidatious about all this. When a actual child sadist pedophile gives him bullshit information, he laps it up and just says, well, I've got some trepidations about this fella, but in the name of getting after Gamer Gator, it's worth it. And it's like, nah, buddy, you got all these little people after you who you have no idea about. Just like Christorian X trying to get into his fucking ear and feed him bullshit. And he accepts it uncritically because he has a goal in mind and he just doesn't care if he lies because he's British. I, I truly believe that this is a British thing. I believe that British people lack the part of the brain that feels bad if you lie they just have no issue with that that's why this that meme about the jew and the anglo is a thing this 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 is not actually uh this one right here this is not a joke this is reality this is how they are they they do not care if they lie so he's willing to accept bullshit from actual pedophiles to run on his stream as long as it coincides with his current narrative, which will change in a week. And when that happens, those same people who are gross pedophile sadists on record wanting to fuck kids, having watched kids be raped, will turn on you in a second and they will devour you. What do you think a pedophile will do with pictures of your wife, of your kids, and the age of machine learning? What do you think will happen if you if you associate with these people and piss them off? Because they never give up on this shit. They do it forever, as long as you're around, as long as they think about you on occasion. My my boy, 
my boy detach from discord detach from the gay ops and cool down a little bit gator will destroy himself inevitably i promise you you'll get to see it you'll be alive to see it but stop surrounding yourself with fucking snakes in the grass my dude i feel really i i i feel due to being i i owe him for years of content that i have enjoyed and so i will stick my neck out and risk embarrassing myself just a little bit to warn my man who hates me very much <laughs> that he is uh he's committing a blunder and I really want him to think about it. And I would just send him an email, but I don't think he reads email. I don't think he knows how to operate a computer. He has no idea. He can't even read the Kiwi Farms. No joke. He said that he cannot read the Kiwi Farms because his ISP has DNS blocked the domain. And he doesn't know how to access the... He doesn't know how to get around the DNS block from his ISP. So he's blocked from accessing the Kiwi Farms. He doesn't know how to do it. He is that bad with computers. He doesn't know how to use OBS. He's that bad with computers and he's trying to, to fuck with these people and, and use them just enough to get what he wants, but not enough to fuck himself over. And it's not possible. You cannot do that. And he knows who I'm talking about. Because, for instance, he tried to go after one of my mods. He tried to say that Autistic Right, who I mentioned briefly before, was accepting $100 bribes to sweep it up for Chris Dorian X. Accepting pay for play in a janitorial position, and surely I would have to demod him. So I looked into it. I take these things very seriously. I looked into it, and the accusation was, this is what Pit Viper told Gator to look cool, that, Chris, that Autistic Right had accepted $100 to post fake Pit Viper salesman docs to shit up the thread. And that is because Pit Viper Salesman offered $100 in public to do this. This was Autistic Rights. Now, let me open this, actually. Um, let me. What I'll do is I'll open this in a way that an ordinary person not signed into the Kiwi Farms would see. So he did not substantiate this claim that this had actually happened in any meaningful way. But... If you were to open the Kiwi Farms and find this post on your own, this is what you'll see. I'll just real quick save it from paint and then um, drop it into OBS. And as you can see, it uses the private tag. So if you're not signed in, you will see you'll see this message saying this private information is unavailable to guests due to policies enforced by third parties. If you look at it while signed in, you see the actual content of the message. And the actual content of the message um, is this shit. The docs that he, quote unquote, received $100 to post is Christine Uranus, implying that he's trans because his original name was Christian Orion, and now it's Christine Uranus at 1488 Troonsvale Circuit, Salt Lake City, Utah, and then a fake number. And Godwinson thinks that this is pay for play and has put it out as such. And I was yelled at by dozens of people to demod this person. Who has, by the way, Autistic Right was the target of the Marjorie Taylor Greene swatting thing, where someone sent her a, an email after she got swatted saying, Hi, this is Autistic Right from the Kiwi Farms. I swatted you. Haha. -ha. So after that gay shit, this shit happens, and I'm naturally skeptical of it. I look it up, and this is what I'm supposed to fire him over for. He even resigns because there's so many people angry at him. And I say, No, I'm not going to just accept your resignation because a bunch of people are being pissy. Fuck off. So I look into it, and this is what it is. And I'm just like, bro, Godwinson is so desperate for a win against myself and Gator that he's willing to eat apples from the poison tree. And, and my brother, Adam, I love you. Full homo. I don't care that you stab homeless people. I want you to step back from that ledge, my friend. Please engage your brain. Cease the kayfabe shit. Wrestling is fucking gay and just stop <laughs> all right listen to me <laughs> this is dumb I, I i hope the best okay 
Yes, forcing him to be a mod like a slave. He actually, yeah, he actually resigned, and I, I, I made a full. Uh, I'll, I still have this somewhere, I think. Um, I may not. I recently cleaned out all my my downloads directory, which gets too fucking full every so often. Yeah, I deleted it. I, I did like a full edit of the Nixon resignation letter saying that I don't accept this. Go back to work. <laughs> there you go. That's uh that's my response to the 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 autistic right question. My boy my boy is a little bit too invested in finding what's going on with Discord faggots on the site. And in a way that's appreciated, but really like I know that these people make accounts all the time. I just don't care. I'm not going to invest hours of my life every day trying to figure out who's sock puppeting with what account. I don't give a fuck. There are rules against specific type of behaviors. You get banned. You come back. If you make a fool of yourself immediately again, I'll probably ban you. There are some people who are banned on site because I've allowed them to get away with sock puppeting. And then they gloated and tried to tell people that they were immune to being banned because I allowed them to sock puppet. And now I ban those people on site. If they ever hint that they're that person, I ban them again. There's like two or three people who've done that. And it's just... Uh, like I, I I devote as little time as I possibly fucking can into dealing with retards. I, I laugh at the retards. I stream about the retards. There's a couple of mods to help maintain the retardedness at safe levels. And if you get banned, I literally, there's no way for me to stop people from making new accounts without just completely hard disabling new account creation. So I know that they're going to sock because I have the best, funniest website on the entire internet and it's like taking away cocaine from an addict. They're going to come back. They might sneak in through the back door. They might break the window. They might hide in the shrubberies until I leave and then sneak into the garage before the door closes. They'll get in though. All right. Uh, I've just accepted that. So I just let it happen. And then when they inevitably fuck up again, I ban them. If they're like a brand new account, I'll use the spam ban and just get rid of all their posts all at once. So if they can make it a couple weeks without being too retarded, they actually get to keep their post. That's my compromise. That's just how it, that's just how it be. I got like 10 mods, I think 10 active mods, um, 20, 20 mods in total. Some who aren't active every, every other day or so. And, uh, about 16,000 daily active users and 10,000 posts. That's the reality of my situation. Um, I don't have any fucking money to hire people to do hard investigative work for me. So there are time constraints and I just, I just deal with the reality of, of the forum of running the website in case you had an insight into how my mind works. That's how it works. Free view. I already told you he can appeal his ban in a little bit. Not right now though. I'm angry at him. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA. Remember to like and subscribe.